Hi, it's Barney from BBC Good Food and welcome to Boss The Basics. In this episode, we're going to be making one of my favourite dishes, spaghetti carbonara. So for our carbonara, we need some diced pancetta. This is smoked pancetta that's already pre-packed diced. You could use bacon lardons or you could chop up your own smoked bacon. We've got 150 grams of freshly grated parmesan. We've got four eggs, but we're only going to be using the yolks. We've got a drop of olive oil, a tiny bit of garlic, and our spaghetti. Now, the only real bit of prep to do for this is to separate the yolks from the whites. Now, you don't have to be too thorough about this. If the yolks break or you get any whites in the yolks, it's really not that much of a problem, but we just want the yolks for this. Now, we're just going to beat our yolks with a fork just to bring them together. I'm going to add about a teaspoon or two of olive oil into a warm pan and then we're going to add our pancetta to that. As luck would have it, that's going to take about the same amount of time as our pasta is going to take to cook. Now, I'm just going to flavour the bacon with garlic. I'm not going to put chopped garlic in next. I don't want too much garlic flavour. I'm just going to add half a garlic clove, which I'll remove before the egg. And that's just going to flavour the bacon as it cooks. I'm going to cook that down gently, stirring it occasionally till all the fats come out of it and it's rendered down and it's beautiful. For four people, we're all about 300 grams of spaghetti. Now I'm just cooking this in some boiling salted water, just as you cook spaghetti normally. And once that goes into the water, we're going to give that a good stir, then we're going to leave that to boil for about nine minutes until it's cooked. Now at this point, when our pancetta is beautiful and golden, it needs about a minute more. I'm just going to take the garlic out and then I'm going to add some pepper just to toast off the pepper and waken it up. So now our pancetta is cooked, it's golden, it's crispy, it's let all its fat out. I'm going to leave that in there, that's all where the flavour is. But I've turned the heat off. Very importantly, there is no heat on that. It's still sizzling a little bit, but I've turned the heat off. Our spaghetti is cooked. I'm not going to drain it, I'm going to use tongs. If you haven't got tongs, then you can drain it. But one thing that's really important is that you get a cupful of the pasta cooking water. This is essential to getting the carbonara right. Now the next bit, you have to work really quickly and you have to use your own judgment. We're going to put the pasta into the, in with the pancetta and we're going to mix everything together. We're going to keep on adding water until the pasta has absorbed it all and it's mixed in with all, those, with all the lovely fat from the pancetta. Um, you'll be really surprised by just how much water it will take. And then once that's happened and still with the heat off, we're going to pour over our egg yolks. We're going to mix those through and they're going to thicken, not scramble, in the heat from the pasta and the pancetta. I'm going to start adding my spaghetti to my pancetta. Can you hear that? That's the sound of it sizzling. So there's still lots of heat in there. Now remember, the heat is still off. Okay, our pan is hot, there's steam coming from it. And now we're going to mix the two together. And you see instantly, it's already soaked up all that liquid. So I'm going to keep on adding this hot, past the liquid until I can start to see it. And then, can you see the pan is dry? So we're gonna add some more liquid. We're adding about 50 ml at a time. I'm going to add the last of this liquid and then you see the liquids coming out. We've got liquid in the bottom which means that the egg yolks aren't going to scramble. They're going to go lovely and creamy. 
Now at this point, and this is really essential, you need to use your own judgment and you need to work really quickly. Because once the egg yolks go in, you've got about a minute before they scramble. So you want to make sure it's not too hot. Now we're going to add our egg yolks. In they go. And now you want to stir as quickly as you can, like so. And then if that's looking like it's starting to thicken too fast, you need to take it off the heat. But that's looking perfect. We're going to add most of our cheese. Leaving a couple of tablespoons just to serve at the end. you make a classic carbonara. Now if you don't eat meat or you don't eat pork you can do a very similar dish with peas or with chopped green beans or runner beans but that is how you make the classic version. So that's been Boss the Basics Carbonara. I'm Barney Desmadri. Thank you very much for watching and as ever stay safe, get cooking. Mm -hmm.